Hello SpaceX fans, we're back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in because we're going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we'll be bringing you up to date with the latest developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. It's no secret that NASA is running out of spacesuits. In fact, NASA is down to just four flight ready EVA suits. Since 2009, NASA has invested more than $200 million in spacesuit development, recently unveiling the XEMU prototype. But NASA still does not have a real fleet of spacesuits. So why has it taken so long for new spacesuits to be built? And what makes them so expensive? Spacesuits are so expensive because they're complex, human-shaped spacecraft. Think about them in terms of spacecraft, not as work clothes. A spacesuit has to protect an astronaut from the vacuum of space, from radiation from coming from the sun, and other bodies, and it has to protect against fast traveling particles that are traveling up to 18,000 miles per hour that could penetrate the suit. They provide oxygen, communications, telemetry, and everything else that a human needs to survive, all rolled into one tiny human form spacecraft. Spacesuits are much more complex than a set of clothes astronauts wear. However, like a set of clothes, different suits serve different purposes. Space exploration usually includes two different kinds of spacesuits both of which protect astronauts from the dangers of their mission. One kind is worn inside a spacecraft during launch and ascent to space, and again on the way home during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, as well as during landing. The other kind, described here, is designed specifically for spacewalks. NASA calls a spacewalk an extravehicular activity, or EVA. So this type of suit is often called an EVA suit. A fully equipped spacesuit used during spacewalks is actually a miniature spaceship shaped like a human body that protects the astronauts from the dangers of being outside a vehicle while in space or on the moon. Spacewalking astronauts face radiation, dust, debris, and extreme temperatures. Temperatures on spacewalks may vary from as cold as minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit to as hot as 250 degrees in the sunlight. The suits provide the proper pressure for the body and supplies astronauts with water to drink and oxygen to breathe. The spacesuits worn for spacewalks outside the International Space Station is called the Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or EMU. But the spacesuits NASA currently uses are more than 40 years old. 18 suits were developed for the Space Shuttle program in 1974 and have vastly overworked their original 15-year lifespan. Suit number one was only used for certification, while suit two was destroyed during ground testing. Two suits were lost in the Challenger disaster in 1986, and another two in the Columbia disaster in 2003. The most recent spacesuit loss was Unit 17 during SpaceX 7's cargo mission mishap. The exact cost to replace this unit is unknown, but estimates range as high as $250 million. For the remaining 11 suits, the damage is mounting, with seven in various stages of refurbishment and maintenance. That leaves only four flight-ready spacesuits aboard the International Space Station. In fact, NASA's first all-female spacewalk was postponed because the space station only had one medium-sized suit. This milestone was finally achieved when NASA sent up a medium torso shell to fit the existing larger suit. NASA has invested about a quarter of a billion dollars in developing the XEMU suit for its Artemis program, which plans to take humans back to the surface of the moon by 2024, with a view to eventually go to Mars. With that goal fast approaching and the number of existing spacesuits dwindling, NASA engineers face a new kind of space race. There is absolutely a sense of urgency, not only because the number of suits itself is relatively small, but the individual components that we use to keep the suits healthy and moving forward is also dwindling. On May 30th, for a glorious moment, we were given a glimpse of the future of space travel. The successful launch of SpaceX's Falcon 9 reorbital rocket system carrying the Crew Dragon to the International Space Station was historic in successfully sending NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley within a privately developed spacecraft. The mission also revealed the next generation of astronomical wear, the SpaceX spacesuit. The two astronauts also sent up some rockets for the style of their next generation spacesuits. The suits were the collaboration of Elon Musk's team at SpaceX and Hollywood designer Jose Fernandez whose studio was behind highly successful costumes for the Avengers, X-Men, Fantastic Four, Batman vs Superman, and Men in Black. Fernandez's initial breakthrough design came in the 1989 movie Gremlins. On the Dragon Project, Fernandez first designed the helmet. Musk liked it so much that he asked for the whole spacesuit. The first attempt was a moody, Tony Stark Iron Man look, 
that Musk wore for a Vogue photo shoot. The newer, sleeker, all-American version looks more like a white tuxedo with the hands of Star Wars Stormtrooper. The new suits are certainly more imaginative than the all-in-one orange pumpkin launch and entry Aces suit worn by the last generation of NASA astronauts. The slightly oval-shaped helmets are also much smaller than the previous generation bubble helmets. Musk kept saying anyone looks better in a tux no matter what size or shape they are, Fernandez told Bleep magazine. Beyond style, the spacesuits need to function as such, providing protection from loss of air pressure in the capsule. Weighing about 20 pounds, they are made from a type of fire-resistant Kevlar and Nomex. A single connection point on the suit's thigh provides air and power connections. The gloves are designed to work with touchscreen controls on the capsule's dashboard. The helmet was made using 3D printing technology and includes integrated valves, mechanisms for visor retraction, and locking and microphones. One of the things that was important in the development of this suit was to make it easy to use, something that the crew just had to literally plug in when they sit down. And then the suit kind of takes care of itself from there, said Chris Tripp of SpaceX in the NASA video highlighting the suit. It's really part of the vehicle, so we think of it as kind of suit seat system. It took us three, almost four years to design these suits that both look good and work well, added Musk in a recent interview. We want to inspire kids to say that one day they want to wear that uniform. What today is about is reigniting the dream of space. In contrast to the new spacesuits, NASA has also gone retro with its old worm logo that graced the side of the Dragon's first stage. Like Steve Jobs before him, Mr. Musk has long prioritized the importance of design and technology. In 2016, he told the startup incubator Y Combinator that he spent about 80% of his time on engineering and design. He understands that the look of something is part of the story it tells. It can create an emotional connection that translates into market power, as well as subliminal recognition of a group that comes from a shared identifiable style. This is an insight borrowed from the fashion world, a sector Mr. Musk flirted with for a while. He used the Met Gala in 2018 to unveil his relationship with Grimes and was profiled in Vogue in 2015 with a photo of him in a spacesuit. It's smart branding because it signals we are starting a new age, said Miss Lewis, who is hoping to acquire a SpaceX suit to add to the 278 spacesuits, prototypes, and suit pieces already in the Smithsonian's collection. It is the age of commercialized spaceflight, with all the brand extension opportunities that imply. Indeed, what SpaceX suits may represent above all is the ultimate in that previously dismissed initiative, wearable technology. With this, we've come to the end of the video. Congrats on having a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.